Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new aviation job video. Hope you're doing really well. So today I have been requested um, to do a model matching tutorial for a Microsoft Flight Simulator when it comes to VATSIM. Now I myself have had loads of troubles with this over the past week or two and I finally managed to figure it out and figure out how to work it. So I thought why not me do an updated 2022 model matching video on how to get um, AIG specifically, a, um, Alpha Indie Group model matching for vPilot and MSFS. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So first of all, there's a few softwares that you are going to need. Um, before we get all the softwares downloaded, I suggest you come to your files and you go into your um, Windows file system and you create a folder called AIG, anywhere you want really that you know is memorable. I put mine in my documents folder, so this PC and documents. And if you just create a new folder and call it AIG and then obviously, you know, deal with that. Um, you will then get in here, you're going to put everything that you need in there. I'll get to that in a minute. So once you've created your folder called AIG, you can head over to the internet and we're going to head over to the software Alpha India Group. This link will be in the description below for um, so you can download all this stuff as well and go along while I'm going along with it. So you want to come to the software bit at the top here and you're going to see two softwares. You can see AI Manager and Traffic Controller. First of all, click on the AI Manager and here you have this one-click installer malarkey. Uh, you want to click on the public beta 1.1 including MSFS support. We don't want to click on the stable version 1.0 as it's not, um, well it's offline, we don't want that. We want the public beta one that includes the Microsoft Flight Simulator. So you want to download that one straight away by clicking it and then wait for that to download. Should take too long, so 9 megabytes. Well, that's downloaded and actually we'll carry on to the next one. You also want to download the traffic controller. Now, traffic controller really is for using it um, offline for VATSIM, using traffic um, to fly with, which is which is not online, obviously, it's for offline. Um, however, you do need to install this, so make sure you get this downloaded as well. As you can see, that's also downloaded now. Once you go into your documents and your downloads folder, you're going to see both of them here, like so. There we go. And what you're going to do, you're going to extract them both the AI manager and the traffic controller, extract, extract, and then delete the uh, zip files, there we go. And then copy these two, like so, and place them to where we saw before, which is in our documents AIG folder. Paste that in here. Now those are the two softwares you're originally going to need to make this AIG work. Secondly, you're going to need something called Model Matching Magic. Now Model Matching Magic you can find on flightsim.to. It's really more simple than it sounds. Essentially, once you download your liveries and your aircraft um, into the community folder, which we'll get to in a few moments, you're going to want to download Model Matching Magic in order to create a VMR file for VATSIM. Now, essentially what a VMR file is, is kind of like a, a file which reads reads the um, uh, the Model Matching and VPilot kind of chucks them together to make you an aircraft, <laughs> like an aircraft baby in the sim. So here's a VMR that I created, um, we'll get to this later obviously, it's so just saying anything you need. Then in it obviously you have your model matching rules, so here we go, um, AEE which is Asian Airlines, A320, model name, um, Asian Airlines, A320, blah, blah blah So I've got that downloaded and now that sim can find that. So we'll get that later, it's not important right now, just make sure you have this downloaded. So if we come down here, uh, the download version and then click the main file, Wait 10 seconds, here we go. Start download. And here you have Model Matching Magic. Go back to your downloads folder, extract Model Matching Magic, like so. And then in here, you want to copy this folder, the one inside the original one, and then go to Documents, uh, AIG, and then paste that in there. Then you have these three folders. So your AIG folder at this moment should look like this. AIG AI Manager, AIG Traffic Controller and Model Matching Magic. Now, once you get to this part, this is where things get more interesting. You need to go originally and open up um, AI Manager. Once you get into this folder, I recommend that you open up AIG Manager as Administrator. This is the perfect <laughs> perfect one to do um, as, as an administrator needs to be run it anyway. So run as Administrator, right click it, get it going. Then you're going to be prompted with um, the little AI Manager screen here then you want to click MSFS 2020. If you get something different, um, which I don't think you will, okay, you'll get this screen as well. On this screen, I'm going to come up with like, um, do you want it to be quicker, blah, 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 yes, no, use less RAM, whatever it is. Um, do whatever you want there, doesn't really matter. I clicked um, no, I believe. I didn't need to use less RAM. RAM was fine, so I clicked no. Um, this bit's going to take a while to load, so just hang, hang tight <laughs> while it loads. It takes a while even when you have everything installed. Um, so yeah, what you want to do is just wait here um, and then we'll get into our manager once that is ready. 
And then once that has um in or opened, you're going to be granted with not this screen. Don't worry about this. All of this will not be here for you. It will be empty. If you ignore it. Go to settings. This is what you want first. The settings folder. But the flight plans page. Make sure on the flight plans bit you have, this is where AIG traffic manager comes into. So um, as you can see here, AIG TC is Alpha Indy Group traffic, um, oh traffic C, something like that. I don't know what it was on the C is, but something like that. Oh traffic controller, sorry, yeah of course. Um, wherever you downloaded it, as you know I downloaded it into here. Um, this PC, documents, commun sorry, not community, AIG traffic controller. So this is where I installed the traffic controller, yeah, we know that. So that's the directory you're going to put in here. Okay, as you can see, it's the exact same documents, AIG, IG controller. Okay, and then you want to come over to cookies. Here we go. And then on the cookies page, you're going to have something called AvSim library. Get logged in. If you don't have an AvSim, um, AvSim account, make yourself an AvSim account because you're going to need it. So um, it's simple as press login. Uh, you're going to be granted a few like script errors. Just get rid of them. It's not going to do much. Keep pressing yes or whatever it is. It's fine. Um, actually, can I show you? I'm already logged in, so I can't really show you. But um, there we go. Yeah, this. Just keep pressing yes, and you will be fine. This always comes up. It's all good. Um, log in and use your password, and you're good. I'm already logged in, so I don't need to do that. Make sure it is. Yeah. And then once you're logged into AvSim and it says logged in, great. You've got past the first step. Now it's on to the um, Alpha Indie Group AI Manager OIC. So OCI. <laughs> Um, and here you need to just put in a few directories. So um, on the current path, this is where I'm going to have all of my um, flight sim like model matching installed. So wherever your community folder is, make sure you put it in your community folder. It is going to is going to basically grant you to do that anyway. But just make sure you have that um, in there. So community folder for me is in this PC, documents, community, and all of my stuff is in here. And this is where it's going to be installed to. IRG traffic, OCI, beta. You see all this? Some objects, airplanes. Here we go. So all your model matching will be installed to there. So make sure you have this current path set to your community folder for MSFS. It's really important that you have it in there. Um, once you've done that, click verify setup. And it, well, actually, I mean, I think you can do that first, personally. You can click verify setup first if you really want. But um, that will take you through everything. But click that after. That's the most important thing. Okay, cool. You've got that to that bit. Perfect. Um, I don't believe. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There is actually. You can do this. Um, so the three steps on the settings page is the flight plans page where you got to put in the traffic controller directory. Cookies. Log in to AvSim. And A I G A I M, where you have to put in your current path and verify the setup. Okay. Cool. Wow. Simple, right? That. Yeah. Now you want to go to the flight plans page, which is where all the things installed for me, what I've installed so far. And then you can go to the online part. And here we have all of the liveries and airlines for you to use inside of VATSIM. Um, but anyway, we're going to um, go into VATSPY really quickly. Don't worry about this for you. We're going to choose an airline to install and then go to VATSIM to see if we can just find one that I haven't installed already. So at Munich, we have, oh, we have loads of Lufthansa's at Munich. Cool. Okay, we'll do that then. We'll install Lufthansa. So, um, for you, you can all do like Control A and all of them will install just like that. Obviously, we don't want them to all install. Um, so, we want to come back here. Um, I'm going to go to Lufthansa. It takes forever, by the way, for them all at once. So just, I think just kind of go along to the ones that you kind of see on a daily basis in the vaccine and just kind of use them. Um, but yeah, we're going to install Lufthansa straight away. Just this one, the normal airline. You can do all of these if you want. Um, I'm not going to do it just yet because it's like an example. Uh, make sure what aircraft type these are actually. A320. So yeah, you just want the normal one here. And then we're going to click OCI bulk. Like that. Then we're going to watch it download. There we go. So Lufthansa is now installing all the models and the liveries. And that is going to go to the community folder AIG beta um, folder, which I showed you before. So it's all going to go in here. Okay, buddy, so that one has just installed. So if we go to the install section and see it's disappeared from my little thing here, so now we have left is cargo and regional. Go to the installed section and you should see a Lufthansa here somewhere. Oh, look. Oh, no, there's there. There we go. There's Lufthansa. Cool. Um, so, yeah, that is how you know it's installed. However, we want to do one more step. Go to settings and then go to. Um, oh, where is it? Here you go. The last one, the Alpha India Manager again. Um, you want to go to verify setup. Click it one more time. I do this every time I finish one just to ensure this actually done it. See down here it says fixing symbol object CGI. 
there we go. Verify check done, that's how you know when it's done. And everything else is good, click save, blah blah blah. Go back to flight, flight plans and there we go. So once again, you can install any airline you want. You can do it all at once if you want, but personally I just don't see the point of doing that because it'll take forever. Just install the ones you come across when you come across them the most. Um, right, that is Lufthansa installed as well as all these other liveries. You now can close Alpha India Manager Group. You don't need that. Bam. Cool. Um, your next step is you want to come to Model Matching Magic now. So Documents, AIG, where you saved it before. Model Matching Magic. Inside here, you want to run as administrator the main file. Now, when you first open this, you're going to be prompted with a little screen of where your community folder is. Like I said before, my community folder is Documents, Community. You copy this and then paste it into there. I mean, you could also paste it into there if you want, but I have mine into here. Cool. Um, next thing you want is you want to press Scan. Ready? We and it's gonna find every single one you've installed like this. You see it? Amazing, right? Um if you get them that come up black sometimes and there's no aircraft type in them, you can put them in yourself. For example, for all of these aircraft, the reason they're red is because I manually put in the aircraft type code. Now, the reason I've done that is because it came up with all of this as normal, but it didn't know what the aircraft type code was. So I put that in automatically, and now when some, that's why it's changed to red, because I've made the change myself, and I put in B752. Um, these are all B752s, by the way, as you can see, and B753s down here. So um, now, on VATSIM, when you log in, it will actually find the Aer Lingus, and when someone logs in as EIN B752, it will then find this livery for you, or these liveries for you, before it wouldn't have come up with anything. Um, but yeah, that's how you know, and then also you uncheck exclude. All the ones that are ticked with exclude on them, like these ones, are the ones that we're not including. Um, just personal preference, really. All the ones that aren't clicked with exclude, in, with exclude on them, they actually are being um, classed as model matching. So I'm going to generate the VMR file. VMR general, <laughs> VMR file generated successfully. Come in to where to you where you downloaded um, Model Matching Magic, and here is VMR file. Model Matching Magic VMR file. What you want to do this is very very important. Do not leave it there. You want to cut this out of this folder, and you want to go to your documents and your vpilot files. Then I've made a whole new folder. Do this yourself, by the way. New folder and call it AIG. Inside this AIG folder is where you're going to paste the VMR file for the Model Matching Magic. Okay. Simple as that, just make sure you find your vpilots files folder, it might not be in documents for you, it could be somewhere else, but for me, like I said, everything I put is in my documents, that's important. So everything goes in there, vpilot files, AIG, pop it in there, okay? FLAI is for P3D, <laughs> so don't worry about that one, this is for MSFS, AIG. Pop it in there. Cool, we're getting there. Next step now, vpilot, open up vpilot, run as administrator, always. Do -do -do. Oh, you see, you see just like that little model matching green line thing? That's how you know, so that has been installed. Go to your settings page and then go to your model matching MSFS. Go to custom rules. This is one I've reasoned, blah, 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 pretend that wasn't there. Um, add custom rule set. This is your VMR file. Vpilot files, AIG, model matching magic. Open that up and apply. Voila. There we go. So now, when we go into MSFS, you should now see Lufthansa's. <laughs> now let's just make sure that we do have them on the ground still. We do. Cool. So let's load up the sim. Go into, um, where are we going? Yes, Munich. And then we should see Lufthansa's on that sim. So let's find out. Um, one quick thing that's quite important that you guys need to know. If you go into the sim, this will happen to me, by the way, hence why I find it difficult. Once you're in the simulator and you connect to that sim and you still don't see the aircraft, in the, even though you followed all the steps, you just see the default A320. What you want to do is um, uninstall vpilot. <laughs> Simply as that. Um, have vpilot, uninstall it completely. When you reinstall vpilot, on the little install screen, something will come up with empty config. Empty that config straight away. Um, the reason is there's a there's a corrupt file in your config that's not allowing you to match the model matching together with that sim. Um, that's happened to me. I had to uninstall vpilot, reinstall it, and then just like that, everything was good. Um, the model matching appeared out of nowhere. Okay, I just got DX12 loaded. I think I'm gonna uninstall it because it doesn't look. It's lagging. I don't like that. So, um, yeah, that's the story for another time. Bam, 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 bam. Here we are, loaded. Now let's find it. Ah, right, well, that is a Eurowings over there. So, no Eurowings works, alright. Sorry, this is lagging because I've just installed DirectX 12. I'm hoping you guys can still. Oh, God, sorry about this. I'm going to uninstall it in a minute. It's causing a lag. Where's all the Lufthansa's? Are they over there? Are you ready to see some Lufthansa's? There they are. 
See that? Lufthansa. Zoom in. Lufthansa there. Lufthansa there. Oh, look. Just two different liveries. The new livery. And the old livery. Cool, right? There we go. So that's installed. Um, once again, just quickly mention, that is just a Neo aircraft. Um, once, oh, actually, this is a good example. If you loan to the sim and you've done the Lufthansa and you've tested out the scenery of that sim and you still see that aircraft right there, you've done something, um, your vPilot doesn't work with model matching. Uninstall vPilot, reinstall it, press empty config and it will work. Okay? Just do everything I've done again, but we're emptying the config and make sure that VMR file is in the vPilot files and you won't see that, you will see... We'll get there. That. What is that? Why have we got... Okay, anyway whatever uh, you will then start seeing that okay thank you for watching this video um, that is all literally that is everything um, oh hello <laughs> that is how you install the um, model matching into V pilot I'm sorry for this lag it's because I've upchanged my settings a bit I need to rechange in direct DirectX 11 but um, yeah I'll see you all in another, another video hope it helped let me know if it helped and I'll see you all again shortly bye bye